stop what you're doing right now because if you're thinking about staying in mechanical engineering then this video might change your mind forever i'm about to reveal three harsh realities about this field that could save you years of stress frustration and disappointment in this video i'm going to be breaking down the three reasons why you shouldn't be a mechanical engineer hi my name is abbas and i've got a master's degree in mechanical engineering i also work full-time as a mechanical engineer but today you're going to be learning what kind of person should actually go into the field of mechanical engineering the biggest misconception about what life as a mechanical engineer is really like and the harsh realities that most people never even consider. See, if we strip away the fancy salaries, the cool design software and all the supposedly awesome lab work, what's left? Why are so many mechanical engineers disillusioned, even downright unhappy? This video might save you years of wasted efforts, so make sure that you understand all three reasons before deciding if mechanical engineering is actually really for you. Without further ado, let's get into the video right away. So reason number one is that you're not cut out for the tough job market. See, the world of mechanical engineering is actually brutal when it comes to actually landing a job, especially a top tier job that pays well and works on cutting edge tech. And think of it like running through a battlefield. You know, you see friends getting taken out that is rejected. You're lucky if you come out intact, right? Many people cannot handle this level of rejection and scrutiny. And let's be real, mechanical engineering is actually incredibly broad. You might be against thousands of applicants, everyone from automotive enthusiasts to aerospace dreamers, all fighting for the same limited slots. Competition is global and it's fierce, and you could face hundreds of rejections before you snag like one single offer. After the 10th or 20th, sorry, we went with another candidate, most people crumble, right? They think, I'm done, I cannot keep going. But guess what? In this field, you have to keep pushing. More applications, more phone screens, more technical interviews, that feeling of endless rejection. Welcome to mechanical engineering hiring. You know, in college, I reached final interviews with about five different companies before landing my dream internship. Now think about that, right? Hours of prep, multiple rounds of design challenges, and then a last minute, no. If that crushes you, the mechanical engineering might not be your best fit. On the flip side, if you do survive this, right? you become unstoppable. You'll have the thick skin and that resilience needed to break into any technical industry because mechanical engineering interview processes are notoriously tough, covering everything from thermodynamics to mechanical design. And if that excites you, cool. But if you're the type of person who wants it handed to you, spoon fed to you, then think again. Now, reason number two is that you think you deserve a great job just for having a degree. Most people who go into mechanical engineering assume that once they graduate, companies will roll out the red carpet for them. But the reality is, no one actually cares that you took four years of classes if you don't have the skills, the hands-on experience, and the willingness to hustle. I'm talking about jumping into extracurricular projects like Formula SAE, Robotics Club, or even energy competitions. Because guess what? Everyone else is building their resume as well. Right? And a lot of mechanical engineering students think my degree alone should land me a job at Lockheed Martin or SpaceX or Tesla. Sorry, that's just not how it works anymore. Right? The market is flooded with mechanical engineers. Why? Well, because people hear about the potential for six figure salaries, interesting design work, or the chance to build the future. So they jump into the major right away. Right? But the competition is unreal. And the bar has skyrocketed super, super high. Companies only have so many positions to actually fill and they're not going to waste it with a basic resume and zero relevant projects. You might need multiple internships before you secure a single full-time offer. You might need to learn additional software beyond what your classes cover at university, like advanced simulation tools, coding for data analysis. And if you think that you cannot accept that you need to put in twice the effort just to stand out, mechanical engineering will chew you up and spit you out. And another reality check is that mechanical engineering covers everything from HVAC to automotive, from robotics to energy systems, right? That means that different subfields experience different booms and different bursts. At different times, the market is very cyclical. Remember the era when oil and gas companies were flooded with cash? Well, now it's all about electric vehicles and renewable energy systems. See, the pendulum is always swinging in this field. So if you're banking on your dream internship being hot forever, then you might be disappointed very fast. 
And if hearing this makes you say this is unfair and that I deserve better, then mechanical engineering may actually not be for you. Now, reason number three is that you hate ambiguity and you want someone to show you the exact path. See, in school, you get homework with a rubric, right? You do X, Y, Z and you get an A. But mechanical engineering in the real world is actually the polar opposite. You might be told we need a new turbine housing design that improves efficiency and that is it. No one's going to hand you a silver plateau with a step-by-step -step plan. You have to figure out by yourself the constraints, the materials, the cost targets, the manufacturing methods. If your solution flops, then you might have to scrap it all and start from scratch all over again. And a lot of grads get paralyzed by this lack of structure. They're used to being told exactly what to do and how to do it. In mechanical engineering, you're often given a problem statement and it's your job to define the approach, to run the simulations, and even validate if the solution is feasible. Sometimes you discover that the problem isn't even a problem at all. Maybe it's a user error or a simpler fix than expected. In that case, your entire week's work goes out the window. But you've actually solved the puzzle by realizing that the design is fine. And if you find comfort in, in ticking off tasks on a list each day, then mechanical engineering will drive you nuts. Because sometimes you spend three days analyzing a concept only to realize on day four that your initial assumption was actually wrong. So you have to pivot. And this can happen over and over again. Because progress isn't linear, it's more like an unpredictable maze where you have to learn from each dead end. Some people, that's exhilarating, but for the others, it's pure torture. And it's especially tough if you can't handle the idea that some tasks have no right answer, just trade-offs. So let's recap the three reasons why you might want to leave mechanical engineering forever, or never enter it in the first place. Reason number one is that you're not ready for the ruthless hiring process. Right? Hundreds of rejections, hours of technical interviews, and still no guarantee? That is very normal in mechanical engineering. If you cannot handle this fact, you might bail early. Reason number two is that you think that your degree alone entitles you to a cushy job. But in reality, you need internships, you need personal projects, specialized software skills, and a drive that outshines the competition. If you refuse to do that, then this field isn't for you. Reason number three is that you despise ambiguity and you demand a step-by-step -step roadmap. You see, real-world mechanical engineering projects are very messy, they're open-ended, and they often require creative, self-guided solutions. And if you're somebody who wants a neat checklist, then you will feel lost and you'll feel frustrated. And if you resonate with any of these three reasons, like they make your skin crawl, seriously consider whether mechanical engineering is actually the right path for you. Sure, you know, you might love the idea of building the next generation of electric cars or designing advanced medical devices, but then the journey is just not as glamorous as some YouTube videos make it seem to be. With that being said, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't because I'll be posting a lot more mechanical engineering content that you don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.